Hello and welcome to the Gravesead official podcast. Launching this new series, we are continuing providing support to Gravesead teachers to make them confident in their classrooms, happy about the results of their teaching, and inspired to start each new day with new achievements in the Grapeseed world. My name is Marina Urusova, and my goal in this series is to help you believe that you can achieve any professional goal with Grapeseed. That's why the name of this series is Yes, I Can. Let me shortly introduce myself for you to understand what stands behind the topics I choose for this series and ideas that I share. I've been with Grapeseed for eight years. I have the experience of being a mother of Grapeseed students, teaching Grapeseed offline and online via Zoom and via new Grapeseed platform, Connect, coaching Grapeseed teachers, supporting Grapeseed coaches and trainers, looking at Grapeseed from a standpoint of a partner and a salesperson. And if you are a regular listener of the Grapeseed podcast, you could have heard me in episodes 56 and 83. Wide range of experience, as you can see. So I will choose topics from the wide range of areas. As a coach, I noticed that the first challenge that a brand new Graveseed teacher overcomes is almost always classroom management. So it was not only my challenge when I started teaching grape seed. What other topic could I have chosen for the first episode in this series? But what do we mean by classroom management? Some teachers think it's discipline for the sake of discipline or for the sake of teachers or administration's peace of mind, and then it's not so important and uh, desirable for goal-oriented teachers. So let's first define what we mean by classroom management. Classroom management uh, refers to the wide variety of skills and techniques that teachers use to keep students organized, orderly, focused, attentive, on task, and academically productive during class. When classroom management strategies are executed effectively, teachers minimize the behaviors that impede learning for both individual students and groups of of students, while maximizing the behaviors that facilitate or enhance learning. So classroom management is not just about teaching children sitting quietly for the teachers to feel better. It's about giving the students a chance to really learn, to acquire the knowledge which teachers share, to practice skills and grow effectively. What can be of more importance for us teachers, right? In the Addressing Classroom Management document located on the Grapeseed portal, The following definition of classroom management can be found. Classroom management is the process by which teachers and schools create and maintain appropriate behavior of students in classroom settings. The purpose of implementing classroom management strategies is to enhance prosocial behavior and increase student academic engagement. I'd like to draw your attention to one more value of a good classroom management, which is mentioned in this definition, prosocial behavior. Let's just think about how important social skills for success and happiness are. The importance of these skills is hard to underestimate, right? That's what we do when we are taking time and effort to have an effective classroom management. We teach our students social skills. It's definitely worth spending time on. That's what we, many of us as adults, are working on, 
being able to demonstrate respect and listening skills, being able to express ourselves, knowing our own boundaries without violating the boundaries of others, being able to listen to opinions that dramatically differ from ours without fear, anger, or frustration. Now let's summarize. We've been speaking about the importance of a good classroom management, as for us adults, it's crucial to know why we should do something to be effective. For children, their own curiosity is good enough as motivation. But for us, it's important to understand why we should do something. So here are the reasons to work on a good classroom management. First, thus we open all our students for learning. Second, we teach our students how to be confident and as a result happy in the society. And third, when our students develop the language and social skills faster, we teachers move on to the next level of our professional development. And now, when we agreed on the importance of spending time and effort working on the effective classroom management, let's have a look at easy steps to achieve it. I mean that each of you can do it. If you thought you would never be able to have an efficient classroom management, forget it. Don't think negatively, just take the following steps one by one. Goodbye, my friends, goodbye. I'm sad to say goodbye. It was a good day, but now I will say goodbye, my friends, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.